to everyone and welcome to the Giddily 16.4 planning issue. This is the plans for Giddily and the GitLab 16.4 release that will be coming out on September 22nd, 2023. Uh, capacity notes for this time around. Uh, it's the end of summer and there's some PTO for certain team members. So we're expecting a slightly lower than normal capacity, but nothing significant where we're going to actually reduce our projected uh, capacity for the month. Objectives and themes. Uh, again, please feel free to reach out and see our direction page if you're interested in what's next and why for our ongoing focuses. Uh, currently, our themes this month are to implement right ahead logging in Giddily. This is an ongoing theme that we're going to see throughout uh, probably the next couple of releases as we implement this. Uh, we have an open epic here, and you can actually see that this is quite detailed, uh, and we have quite a bit of work going on here. There's a lot of issues open here still and a lot of things that are in going or ongoing and in flight. So we're very excited to make progress here in an effort to improve both our disaster recovery situation and as a first step toward our distributed architecture raft, uh, which is also, also a, a feature we're looking forward to. Uh, the second thing we're looking at is our server-side backups. I talked about this last month. We are right on the edge of these being finalized. Uh, there's a little bit of documentation left and we wanna have some metrics collection involved there so we understand what's happening and ensuring things are working to better enable that. However, this should be coming out next release and we're very excited for that as I think it solves a lot of customer problems. Uh, we also have had a series of Giddily Cluster load-based escalations. Now Giddily Cluster, which is our high availability repository storage solution, provides a ton of benefits to customers who need high availability uh, storage for their repositories. However, when you use a voting redundant system under extremely heavy load, you will see that it actually performs slightly worse in some ways. Namely, writes are somewhat slower. And if the cluster becomes out of sync, which is expected, and that's sort of how it, it handles the fault tolerance, uh, getting things back in sync can be somewhat problematic at times. Uh, we've had a couple of our larger customers having some issues here, and we've recognized there's a few ways where the cluster is getting out of sync in situations where it may not need to be desynchronized. Uh, this is effectively us calling a resync in Gilly cluster out of undue caution. Uh, there's a few issues we're looking at investigating in this release. Uh, a couple of these are, you know, around disconnecting repositories from an object pool, unneeded replication jobs, and introducing reference solutions via tombstones. Now, I will say that this final one has to do with the way that Git upstream and the Git you know, project as a whole handle deletions. When the deletion occurs, we actually have to, whether it be a reference deletion or anything else, we have to actually lock the nodes, perform the deletion, and that forces us out of sync of the multiple nodes in a cluster. And in non-busy repo, these will just come back in sync very quickly, but on a super busy repo, it can take hours to come back in sync which then uh, reduces the capacity of the cluster since load distribution across the cluster for reading does not work. So this is something we're looking at putting into upstream Git. It's a contribution we're very excited to make to upstream Git, but again, it has to go through the mailing list and ensure that you know it's done the proper way. So we're probably looking at two to three months to get this on the mailing list and, and receive feedback. And there's no guarantee that the mailing list or upstream Git finds this to be beneficial or doesn't have feedback that will change the course of this. So this is something we're actively pursuing and we're pretty excited for. The final thing we're looking into is the Git SHA-256 repository support. Now that Git version 2.42 uh, does not consider SHA-256 experimental, uh, we are looking to roll this out for testing for our customers. Now there's a couple things to note here. Interoperability between SHA-1 and SHA-256 is not something we're gonna support right off the bat. Uh, it's not actually something that's currently supported within Git itself. You can have a SHA-1 repo or you can have a SHA-256 repo, but you can't really have a repository that contains both. Uh, that's sort of a known limitation. We're actually nearing a point in this uh, epic of being able to demo it. We actually had some internal demos the other day. We're able to actually create repos um, from the command line, push them into a repository on GitLab and view them. A lot of things are working quite well. There are a handful of things on the Rails side that we're looking to get taken care of, and those are actually scheduled out in 16.4 as well, 16.5. So that's pretty exciting. So hopefully soon we'll be able to support this and we'll be able to allow our customers to start creating repositories in a SHA-256 manner, which will allow for some future proofing for those customers.
Uh, as far as engineering priorities, there's a handful of flaky tests we're looking at sorting out. Uh, these have been scheduled for multiple releases. I've moved them all to 16.4 now to try to put them all in one place. We're going to figure out what to do with these. Uh, hopefully we can mitigate these or resolve them throughout this, uh, this milestone. Uh, there's also other ongoing customer escalation work and bug fix work that we're pursuing as well. So if there's questions, comments, or you have anything else you'd like to see us look into, please feel free to leave a comment on this planning issue or on the YouTube video. I do check them at about the middle of the milestone cycle to see if anything's going on. Though admittedly, I do not check further back than one release. Thank you everyone for your time and have a great day.